Okay, so this is going to be a relatively quick one. I just want to get a video out on this to show it because it's kind of cool. So in the old telephone network, there was a thing called the automatic intercept system, which would, instead of just sending you to a recording or straight to an operator, whenever you dialed a wrong number or one that was changed, it would send you to a computer system that used a, mag a magnetic drum recorder and would piece together audio clips to read back the number to you and then tell you why it didn't go through and if it was a changed number, what the new one was. So it still exists today, just not in the analog form that it used to. So I've decided to recreate this in a microcontroller and a flash chip with a DAC to play back PCM audio clips. So I'm on the Tandemx Telephone Connect Collectors Network and I have the 884 block. So any invalid number that you dial in the 884 block will now go to this announcer. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this phone here and call a not in service number and let you hear what it sounds like. And then I'll go show you what the hardware looks like. So let's just call a random 884 number that's not in service. So that's what the not in service message sounds like. And it does also do change numbers. So I'm going to dial 8840894, which has changed to 8840000. So let's do that now. The number you have reached, 8840894, has been changed. The new number is 8840894 has been changed. So that's what it sounds like. And now this will work with any wrong 884 number that you dial. So if I dial like 8841111. So, I'm now going to just go show you the hardware that it's running on and what that looks like. Now, the reason I'm out here in the garage is because the voice gateway that I'm using, a Cisco VG350, is quite loud when the fans are on the medium setting, which is what they're on right now, just due to the temperature of my bedroom. So, I couldn't get a good recording of it in there. So, I will head back and I will show you the little board that I've made that has this on it. So over here, here's my rack. And down here is the really loud Cisco VG350 I was talking about. So I love this voice gateway, but it's just a little bit loud. And you know, I can barely hear my own thoughts in here. But over here to the right, I don't have an enclosure for it yet, but let me adjust my camera. There, now you can see it. Here's my board. So over here, we got the PIC. It's a PIC 16F77. And on the right, we have the flash chip, which is 256K. That stores all the audio. We have an op amp. We have a MT8870 DTMF decoder. We have an opto isolator for ring detection and a read relay for taking it off hook. And a transformer and the crystals and all the passives and all that stuff that you need. So how this works is it gets a call and it picks up the line and then immediately takes in DNIS data in the form of touch tones. So the Cisco VG350, as soon as that line is picked up, it sends the number that was dialed to my board in DTMF, which is how that that's how it receives the number and knows what number to tell you is an on service. And I've just come up with a little formatting thing so that I can tell it different reasons. So has been disconnected, has been changed, is not in service, etc. And for now it I can just do those two because I haven't fully set up the VG350 for this. But it also does um, automatic number announcements or readback. So those lines that you would call that would say, hey, this is your phone number, 
it can also do that. So that's what my board looks like. And there is actually, I guess I can call it from this phone and then you can watch the little LED on there flash as it receives ZTMF. So let's call 8845555. So then it receives the DTMF, and you're not going to be able to hear it, but it's telling you why it can't go through. So yeah, that's my little emulated automatic intercept system, which I'm going to add more to it eventually. But for now, it's just like that. And yeah, hopefully I'll be able to voice it a little bit better than I did on my very painful attempt to do that. But yeah, hopefully someone finds that interesting. And Maybe at some point I will upgrade it. I want to make one that has multiple lines. And maybe when I do that, then I'll make another video on it.